What do you think? Run just a little to the left. Le my left or your no, left? Run stage left. Run down. Run perfect. All right. Run, that looks ridiculous. Run, don't think so. Oh, God. Mew. Hello, everybody. This is Red Vinyl Kitty. And today, me and Ron, the sarcastic lion, need to talk to you about something kind of serious. To be honest with you, chances are pretty good that the people who need to watch this video are not going to watch this video, and the people who do not need to see this video will probably watch this video and agree, and I may get a lot of hate for this video, and that's fine. Hate away. <laughs> so, with all that being said, let's get to it. Today's video is... Respect, Boundaries, and Blocking People. This is kind of an awkward video to make because nobody wants to make this video, nobody wants to talk about this, nobody wants to have to talk about this, and this is something that I've thought about making a lot over the last roughly year, which kind of sucks because I've had, honestly, a lot of people show up out of the woodwork in the last year. Like, this video, I'm sure there are people watching this video thinking it's directed at them, and it's not directed at you specifically, although the there is one incident that happened recently that did spurn me to make this video, but this has been going on a lot recently, like I said, within the last year. And so now I feel compelled to talk about it. And that is, if you block somebody online, or you talk to somebody that you know in person, and then you tell them that you do not want to speak to them ever again, that should be a rare occurrence. It should. It shouldn't be something that happens all the time because honestly you shouldn't block people and you shouldn't tell people to go away over every minor little thing. If somebody disagrees with you, that's not a reason to block them in my opinion, but why you should or shouldn't block somebody is a topic for another day. I don't block people unless something awful has happened and if I have blocked somebody and told them that I no longer wish to have them in my life then it means I no longer wish to have you in my life. Now I'm pretty sure I speak for most people that if I tell you or if you tell somebody to go away then it means go away. And it's something that's really hard to hear because if you were close with somebody, especially if you were close with somebody for a long time, it's hard to hear. It's hard to be told you don't want to talk to them anymore. But I have to tell you from the side of somebody who has to tell someone to go away, it's hard to tell people that you don't want them in your life anymore. It's hard to say, I love you, but I cannot have you in my life anymore. Please leave. And please don't come back. That alone is really painful to say. And not only is that painful to say, it's painful to do, it's painful to remove people's numbers from your phone. It's painful to block their email. It's painful to go through all of your social media and block them everywhere. It is. It's hard. It's really hard if it's a person in real life that you have to avoid. It's really hard if it's a person online. It's hard. It sucks. And from the other side, if you're the person being told, please don't return, I don't want to talk to you anymore, it hurts. 
But I'm telling you now, you're not the only person hurting. Both people are hurting, and nobody wants to be in the position where they have to say, go away and don't come back. That is awful. It feels awful. It feels awful for both of you. So if somebody has to tell you, please go away, and then they block you out of everything, I am pleading with you now to go away and just please don't try to contact that person again. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You were hurt and you're thinking, I can fix this. I was close with that person. Maybe you were close with them for weeks or months or years and maybe you're thinking, we can still solve this. But you can't. And that's really hard to hear. It's hard to hear, but you need to hear it. You need to know that if you've gotten to the point where you've been blocked or you've been told to go away, that you have to. You don't have to go away from everybody. You have to go away from that one person. And that's really painful. It's like a breakup. It's like a breakup from a friend. It sucks. It does. You need to expand your friendship horizons and find more friends. Because even if things didn't work out with that one person, there are so many more people out there and you're going to find more people to be close with. I promise you, you will. And there's no reason once somebody tells you to leave them alone why you have to go back to them and hurt them again by upsetting them. Because you're just reopening hurt for the both of you. And I really know that sucks. It really does. So, to help you, I've developed a handy chart. In case you're wondering in what circumstances you can contact the person who's blocked you, here's a list of handy questions to ask yourself. For example, what if I miss the person? No. If you miss the person, make more friends. Other friendships exist. You will find more friends. You will find something else special. I promise you will find other special friendships. What if it wasn't fair? Run, think, no! You know what? This is a good point. Maybe you were blocked, or maybe you were told to go away, and maybe it wasn't fair. Maybe it really wasn't fair. Maybe your friend thinks it wasn't your fault. But by the time they have blocked you, or told you to go away, it is completely beyond the point where you can reason with them. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It is one person's opinion of you. It doesn't mean you're bad. You are not bad. You just need to find more friends. And it might be completely, totally unfair. Completely unfair! But still don't contact them. Don't do it. Do not do it. What if I don't understand why? No. Wrong think. No. This one I honestly have a hard time believing because I really think that if you stop and examine things, in 99% of the cases, you will know why. There are going to be some times where you don't. 
okay? Sometimes somebody will ghost on you, and that's a different thing than being blocked for the reasons I'm talking about. We're not talking about ghosting. But if something went wrong and somebody specifically told you, please do not contact me again, and then they blocked you, you know why. And I think that we go through this thing in our heads where we go, why? And we question ourselves, but we know. It might not be fair, but we still know why. This one is very important. What if a lot of time has passed? Like a month or even a year? Ron think no. Ron is correct. Don't contact people after a year. You're probably thinking, they'll forget. Maybe it's been three years. They'll forget. If they told you to leave them alone, they have probably moved on with their life, and you probably should too. Widen your circle of friends. There are people out there who do love you, will love you, and you will find more friends. I promise you, don't contact them, even if more time has passed. If they said to leave them alone, leave them alone. And lastly, what if I'm sorry, really, really sorry? Ron is sorry to say, no. Ron is correct. Even if you're really, really sorry because you do know what you did, or maybe you didn't do anything, maybe the other person did something and you're sorry about the circumstances, whatever happened, if you're sorry, whatever happened, don't contact them. Leave it be. If somebody told you not to contact them, and it is really meant to be, the only way for the friendship to fix itself is for them to contact you again. But don't hold your breath for it. If they told you to go away, it means that they want space. And by space, I mean they need you to leave them alone. It doesn't mean they're sitting there wishing you ill will and that they hate you. It just means the friendship is over. And it means that you need to move on. And this is like, this stuff is really hard to hear. Some of you really need to hear it. Once you have moved on from a friendship, you unfollow the person on social media, you don't cyberstalk them, you take their phone number out of your phone, and you leave them alone, and you erase them from your life going forward. That doesn't mean that you have to erase all the happy times you had with them. Nobody can take away all of the good things that you did in the past together. Those are happy memories that you always have. But going forward, you're gonna make all those wonderful, good, happy memories with somebody new. You can do it. I believe in you. I love you. I do. And I don't want everyone getting caught up in this. There are so many of you getting caught up doing the wrong thing. You don't need to get caught up doing the wrong thing. I know this was a hard video for some of you to hear. I doubt that those of you who actually needed to hear it will actually watch it. But I have put it out there. So if nothing else, I feel better. 
I hope you are all having a fabulous day. And I will talk to you later if I haven't blocked you. <laughs> Mew. Bye.